Now, in case it scares and go text, so we're playing for pay for a few years, you can't handle it. It was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Phew, finally! Things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with you, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Oh, nice. I like this. So, I have played this before, but I never completed it. And I always forget a lot of things, so I probably don't know anything about this game. But at least from what I, when I played it. I know, I know where we end up, really, but I don't know... I can't really remember what really happens, so yeah. Huh, she's poor. Forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. There's a lot of crack in the wall. God damn, I just got this place. Ah, what a nice sleep. I know a computer! I'm very close inside, okay, yeah. A coke tanner. It's hardly any books. Yeah, that's disappointing. A washing machine. A wash, a wash basin. Don't wanna go. Well, guess what? You have to go. Question mark. What's with that place? Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? You wanted to move for a change of pace, and that would not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know, and not many places come with all furniture. Besides, he told me to look for the for the place, right? Don't come complain to me now. You're right, I'm sorry, I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry, we'll pay him a visit sometime. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. No reason to go out, your friends. You gotta, you gotta talk to your friends. Okay, who's calling me? Hello? Hello, who is this? Shirley? I like how their name's Shirley. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Yep, I just gotta take a nice long sleep. But I'm tired in all sorts of ways. So, I'm gonna complete the prologue and then just end it there. Uh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Yeah, be nice though. They're crying. We gotta, we gotta have a nice conversation. Hey, not got no response. Yeah, yeah. No, don't even. Boop. Yes, who is it at this hour? Problem is because I can hear you through my room, even it's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Uh, what, are you, what are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. Are you trying to start something? 
You're the guy who moved in 204, right? There's no way you hear me from the, from there. Eh, uh, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it's it was a man's voice. What, was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get to, back to sleep. Yeah, 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 you should definitely apologize later. Likes the water, is the faucet busted? See, sorted. Hmm. Under the bed. Oh, no. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about it in bad taste. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm, found something. Found a scarf from a book? Notebook. What is said? Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and wiveling. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Okay, just so casual, just like, eh. <laughs> this shit happens. That sounds still. Where's that coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. <laughs> okay, talk. Talk to them. Hello. Uh, yes, thanks for all the... No, I didn't mean just I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I come visit today. Tell her that for me, okay? Bye. Man, I slept into noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Yes, you slept for a while. If I sleep longer. It was all good. <laughs> You got a nice guy computer. I like how that's old computer. The first time I walked someone play this was PewDiePie, so I actually quite love to uh, actually hunt, you know, proper complete this game, since I never really did that. Paul, what is it? Yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this, sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Phew, thanks. So you're going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write something on the bathroom mirror? What kind of pranks a kid do you take before, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm, I'm off. Yeah, you know people still make fan art for this game to this very day. Or well, at least I still see some. That's mean. Who's going? Oh, I can't stand you. This is ridiculous. Be nice. Oh, mother. Is that is that the mother? Um, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my! If it isn't little Timmy, you certainly grown. <laughs> just make just make the mother a sister. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much, I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop too, so when you get better we can live there together. My, that's wonderful! Get along with Linda, will you? All the fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I could come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I make the best I know how. Um, I'm not Timmy, I'm your son, David, remember? <laughs> oh yes, they opened the bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mum. It's sad, I I'm, try I'm trying to be serious, but at the same time, he's like, oh, I'm making that weird voice. Oh, who would you be 
Why are you here? How do you get in my room? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who, who are you? Say something, will you? Uh, mum, mum. <laughs> get out. I have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody, there's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. God damn, I'm so mean. I'm so mean. Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Away. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You have to leave us for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy, is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mum. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pirate, don't ya? Your mother always has your back. Please don't. Please don't leave me alone. I want to be alone here. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mum, it's me. Remember, Mum. David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But, but she's my, she said my, I said live. Miss Hova, please calm down. Where the sedatives? Can't go in. Let me in, bitch. Let me in. Oh, hello, doctor. Hello, David. Do you see your mother? Yeah, though, I, I, she still doesn't know me. Yes! She forgot many things and she having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient, she may as well get better so you can live with her again. Thanks, I hope you can help her. <laughs> I'm just easing the tension by getting everything silly voices. Aww. Who moved me fucking TV? That's, that's, that, that's priceless. A phone. I always loved the style of 2012 horror games. Like, they, they had a great year for, you know, indie horror games. So I'm hoping to play a lot more of, more of them, really. So I heard a bunch of noises, but... Tab, at least, as far as I know. This did I move that chair? That, that was weird. That, that was weird, wasn't it? I was, I was pressing around that chair and everything. Hmm, there's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for school. Yay. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be a formal tenant. You should have forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all. Goddamn, what I want to take is nice long sleep. Hello? Hey David, how are you doing? Ah, uh, you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you have a lonely, okay? I can visit with Paul. Oh, By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She just should just look out for herself. All right, well, I'll hand up now. All right, see you. Da, da, da. It's sad though, I feel bad for this guy, because, uh... Do you know the thing? Some people only have a handful of friends, and you know, it can be like quite lonely sometimes. And to see he only has... I'm glad he has friends looking out for him. So it just makes me a little sad that it's, it's only two of them and his mother's in hospital. 
I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. This is why people tend to go join clubs, though, like uh, like gaming clubs or public clubs, because those are useful for everyone, really. Like, I do believe that even if you're lonely as hell, you can join, like, a, a book club or something, or some club where there's people around. And my brother does football. But, you know, you still have work. You can always get work friends as well. That sounds like a shower, right? Where's that noise coming from? Oh, the T- wait, it must be the TV, right? Oh, it's the TV, why am I so dumb? Oh, it's just static, why did it turn off by itself? Is it broken? Go on, spook me, you want to spook me? Sink! Gah! No, no, actually, did it say sink? What was that? Wash basin. Well, this is a sink. I thought it was a sink, though. Oh, that's sink. Why am I so dumb? Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. Nice. There was a crooked man. He worked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a... In a... In a crooked little house. Isn't this a mother goose vine? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. Poor guy. Gonna take a nice long sleep. Ooh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate poor Ma Ma Marine's help, but... Oh, I want to give this guy a hug. He just seems so sad. Yeah, I mean, is that a kid I hear this late at night? And what, ca what kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course, there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Oh, but the glass book, though. It's back. God damn it. There's always shit breaking here. Here's a broken cup. Geez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. The coffee's spilling out. You gotta be... This room is really, really strange, with his voices and TVs turned on. Where's this? Uh, hi Paul, it's David. Yeah, what's up, man? You sound sleepy, haha. <laughs> haha, <laughs> yeah, um, well, was up all last night? I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this ha in room? In this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady. You curious about something? Well, it seems like he, he forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady sure later. The landlady on the far end of the first floor. I go see what she knows. So, I'm going to show the voices for now. But next time, next time I do a stream, I'll probably do more silly voices. Since, uh, the other, the other stream stuff I did, ah, exhausted. And no, you should be sleeping, my friend. Ooh, withered plant. Oh, hello! It's Mr. David! What seems to be the batter? <laughs> Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see. About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? 
Um, well, you know, these apartments... <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Otherwise, I'm gonna hurt people's ears. Always have been... Have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my, my documents to find the previous sentence if you like. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry, I wasn't very useful. Sorry that I wasn't very useful. Yeah, so. Goddamn. I bet you are now. Bet you are. It's like, it's like 4 a.m. Almost, well, 3, 3 a.m. But almost 4 a.m. for you right now. A man about my age. I can only wonder what he was like. Oh well. I'll get back to my room. I felt bad for the hook because like... Literally for like 4 hours or the majority of the stream, I had not played the Crooked Man. Oh god, there's a spider! Spider, Jesus Christ, chill, chill, ah, oh, okay, I just killed a spider, I just killed a spider, I, I'm evil. Yep, I'm evil, I killed a spider. Oh, there's a lot of dirt tracks here, let's see the walls. Why are these tracks on the floor? They led up to this wall. Yeah, of course they led up to this wall. <laughs> Is there something in this, in this crack? Grab brass key. Ooh, this key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. Oh yeah, he got that, he got that anime chin. He got that anime chin going for him. The guy's voice, the kid's voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Ha, huh. it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought that the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I must care if there was ghosts here. Nobody too bothered if they haunted and killed me e either. Oh, poor guy. But I, won I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was, he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I call it a day. I time to sleep and have more nightmares. This guy can sleep so easily, I'm quite jealous. Well, he did have one trouble night's sleep, but still. What? Wait, where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Where would it be? It'd be static, right? So... Oh, oh, the computer! Oh, wait, no. Oh, it's from there, it's from there. Radio, what's, why is it, why is this in my closet? Not to mention it's turned on by itself. Hmm, there's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place, where's that supposed to be? He just goes there and it's like a little gay honeymoon. Wholesome. Oh! I'm waiting for you. Well, this is not the most romantic proposition. I'm what? I'm waiting for you? What? Why did? How? And when did it? What? Wah! Wah! Got, you got the spiky head. So you say you sleep well last night? So you had to sleep on the couch? Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha, I just wasn't expecting it. But don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? 
You don't look so hot. Oh, there's there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love nest. Ha! Huh, why, why you? <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously though, you can tell me if anything's happening, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. Hey, I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you're making fun of me. Oh yeah, I heard from Maria. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her to get you, get off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marie, Maria's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I can get some clerk or a mum in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran for me. Man, don't be such a sissy. <laughs> that was so sudden. You keep up that moping and you have your own personal rain cloud. Huh. Hey, well, I'll be okay. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere. I was just wondering about... I'll, I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send me a postcard. Nah, but don't actually. Breakfast! <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Breakfast is ready. Paul, David, will, will you be eating too? No. Oh, nah. I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by anytime you like. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains, about five hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I just can't stand this place. Anyway. Yeah, the journey. The prologue. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, got this saved. Ooh, only, only like 30 minutes in. 30 minutes in. So... I kind of stuck between end this now or going to where it's like five, you know, five, five, you know, five hours in. You know, I kind of want to go for the five hours. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just going to go for the five hours. Jeez, it's gone dark, but this is the place, no doubt. Huge place, looks like a hotel. Would he be here? Guess I just have to check. They're giving you a serene stay. See, it's a big hotel. A hotel register. Oh my god, good, good my health. David Hoover. It's like, because he's 20, 20 back then or 27 back then. He'd be like 30 now. But he's like quite crazy if you really think about it. Like, seeing all the people back in 2012 making videos really like, oh god. They must be like, so shocked. It's painted over. Ooh. Well, oh, look at this room. See, it's a nice safe, nice place. Who would abandon a nice place like this? The clock stop. Why, why are the clock stopping? There's something on the shelf. Treasure hunt. Me, dear mum and dad. Okay, that makes sense. So, there's a little treasure hunt. I got some kid staying here, Judas. <laughs> sure, I'll look for your treasure. Oh, that's quite cute. It's a cute little drawing. So, my other plans is... It's finishing Mad Father and playing Corpse Party. To stream that as well. And since a new one came out not too long ago, like last year, I think. It'd be a good time. Oh. 
I always wanted to do a Let's Play series on this, but I'll just do a stream series and then upload it on my channel. Then, you know, edit it to make it look nice. Since I have like a lot of material from the stream of individual games, I think it would be very helpful for me. Oh, I see. So a treasure. Oh yeah, I found a golden key. There's a piece of paper beside it. You found a treasure. Congrats. Yay, treasure. Alright, there's some... Yeah, so I'm quite surprised. Ah, sorry, I blanked out. This is something completely irrelevant. Ooh. Oh my god, look! A mounted deer. Ooh. The grand piano. Why is, it, why is this place even abandoned? Ah, uh, Spooky Friday. There's a scrap from a notebook on the dresser. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here. But it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page is ma it matches the one for my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. So he got dumped, huh? The note at home did mention that. And no special place. He came here with her. Where could he be? He found a scrap from a notebook. Oh no, the glass. This is like the longest amount of time I streamed ever, so I'm actually quite surprised that I'm still going strong. The door is locked, there's notice on the door. By incompetence and lost keys, the library is simply closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. Yeah, see, they're not to redo all that stuff. Another key. Got the key to 108. The cry of unseen. Do you consider, do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's a side in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside. And they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your unconscious kindness and they will drag you away. Some kind of a cult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way into this that stuff for his age. Ooh. I'm just gonna check all these. What the, the sound? Packed with type books from S to T. Another save. I'm gonna check my inventory, see what I have decks to do. I got the brass key, so 108 key, so I'm gonna head to room 108 next. Someone there? Okay, 103. Well, okay, so I'm going to assume it's in the other side. There we go, 108. Seven on top. Okay. Oh wow, wonderful. Oh, 
Okay, got it. Nice. Got wire cutters. Someone really loves music. That's beautiful. Uh, it should be on the one on the left. Ah! Oh, you scared me, Jesus. Who's there? Ah! I'm sorry. I just came in and the piano looked nice. So I am um, sorry that I yelled at you. I'm not on staff for the hotel or anything. Uh, who are you then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. <laughs> of all names, of all names is Sissy. Is this, is this metaphorical? Ah, Sissy. Then what brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know? I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Do you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Yeah, right. Well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be, be here a while longer, so I could help you out. R really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor too, though. If you see a man about my age, will you tell me? Okay. I'll be going then. Um, David, you, you be careful too. Aww, that's sweet and wholesome. Now, what am I doing shouting out girls? I feel like the shady one here. If it turns out that this character is just a sissy, <laughs> by this whole thing, then it's metaphorical. Cut the wire with the wire cutters. Oh, wonderful. Oh, miscellaneous goods. The one in room 106 needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Got the key to key 108. Or room 108. Four chances of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. There's no doorknob. I hear something. Is everyone locked in there? I should find a way to open it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Water's got you bound. A doorknob. Oh yeah, that 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 journal mentioned something about door door repairs. Hmm, will it work on a door or a knob? Same kind. I'll give it a try. Got a doorknob, yay! The mirror's filthy. Well of course it's filthy. This place is all well one down a bit. So save here. I meet the weird nice guy that, that that's growing in that room over there. Oh god, a basement. I hope nothing bad will happen in the basement. The book of the mouth straight the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Sounds a little loose. Yeah. Empty trash can, a phone. Time to go in the basement. It opened. Was there a mechanism in the floor? There's a ladder and it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. Alright, after I get out of the basement, I'm probably going to go to bed. Can't see a thing. I need a light.
Hello, spooky man. Are you okay? Hey, were you locked in here? Hello, my monster boy. What? Are you okay? Whoa. Ooh, spooky. Ack. Oh, God. Look at that face. Wow. Okay, don't come near me. I'm... Hey, piss off. Okay, I got a spam Z, I guess. God damn. Pan. Ah, 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 ah. Well, what was that? His neck was all crooked. Con kind of been human. I think it's going nuts here. That thing, it could have been real. It couldn't have been real. I must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired and so I feel sick. I wonder what Sissy's up to. <laughs> Did she find what she came here for? He's just like, let's forget what, what happened down here in this basement. Let's forget this little monster creature. I just think about this random person. That never happened. I love this about like indie horror games where like the characters is like, oh. Oh, this never happened. I right, saw so gone down there. What the fuck? Ah, uh, was that sissy? Ah, uh, what happened? I went to the window and the floor gave way. What, what should I do? Sissy, jump. It's dangerous over there. No, I can't. I'm slipping. I can't possibly jump that far. A gap that big? There's no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble soon. Hurry, I'll catch you. Ack. Yay. Yeah, yeah. That was too close. Are you okay, sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? Aww. So, so scared. I was so scared. No more. I don't like the dark. Why do I? I. It's okay, sissy. I'm. I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine now. Don't worry. Ah. I'm. I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. It's all right. I'm glad you're not hurt. Do you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you came all by yourself. You could always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering. Was it a present or... It's a present from my boyfriend! Poor guy. Poor guy. You're not getting the damsel today, my friend. No damsel for you. It's the most important thing to me after my own life. Ah, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it. You're looking for some, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but can you tell me more about them? Uh, well, I don't know that much either. Just that he's a man around my age. Huh? You know that little about the person you're looking for? You're a strings guy, David. I, I am not. There's just some things I want to ask, and I don't know how... He looks because strings, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if would if you weren't here. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Hey, David. Maybe you should have mentioned about that monster guy. Maybe you should have mentioned that there's like a scary man here. Maybe that should have been a thing to bring up to her. I, I'm just, I'm just saying, David. I'm just saying, if she dies, if she dies right now, this is on you, dude. This is on you. 